Okay, hey dudes, it's Nico Max, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, my system, and it's in a new room here. It's in a much larger room. Uh, if you can see all the way back there, it's it's actually about 40 feet long. Um, it's uh, about 14 feet wide, and I've got the system set up in uh, well, like one third of the room, so the speakers are kind of at the one third mark of the room. And I'm about four, four and a half feet off of the back wall, my listening position. And behind me, uh, I also have like a, like a bathroom, which I keep open. I understand that uh, having a sort of like a vestibule space in the rear wall is actually good. Uh, sounds pretty good. The room is quite live at the moment, so I'm going to work on maybe taming some of these re first reflection points here. You see uh, this one. Oh, there's my Fender, uh, 1969 Fender Bandmaster, which is... Uh, my vintage tube amp for my guitar, and there's my Martin guitar, so yeah. Anyway, so just quickly, the system is uh, Soundfield Audio Monitor 1s uh, in maple and white baffles. Uh, they use the Kef UniQ driver, uh, which is a coaxial uh, mid-high frequency driver, and they got the tangerine waveguide in the middle of that, and they sound great, uh, very coherent. Uh, very nice uh, off-axis frequency response. Uh, I believe they call that controlled directivity or constant directivity. I'm not sure actually which one that is. Uh, the big drivers are 8-inch um, long throw uh, subwoofer drivers, and they're powered by 300 watt bash amps that are, uh, plate amps that are in the back of the speaker, and you know you can adjust the gain. Very handy. Um, so, and they're being driven by my new amps, uh, which are Hibachi amps. Uh, they're made by Tube Audio Design, although they are solid state uh, amps. They apparently have some sort of tube in the power supply that reduces noise. They are super quiet. As a matter of fact, they're, you know, cranked to three quarters input gain here. And I'm holding it up to the speaker. And I don't think you can hear anything super quiet. Uh, much quieter than my old amp. And uh, there's the other one. They deliver about 200 watts per speaker. Uh, 200 watts per speaker uh, per side. And you see that they just drive this driver here. Uh, these guys are driven by their own 300 watt amps. So you have basically 500 watts per side. Which is good. Uh, this is my Mac Mini. It's this year's Mac Mini. That's my server. I use... J River for Mac, and I listen to Spotify a lot. Spotify sounds great. Uh, you see there's a Silex uh, glass optical cable. It goes to my DAC preamp processor, which is the D-Speaker Anti-Mode 2.0 Dual Core. Talked a lot about that on the web as well, and uh, that's correcting bass below 200 hertz at the moment. Um, I've noticed with this thing that if your bass is already pretty good, um, it kind of puts it over the top and really freak, smooths out the frequency response and you know just tightens everything up. If your bass is a mess, it can't work wonders. So if it's like if your peaks and nulls are just insane, um, you know it's not uh, it it it's not a miracle worker. Um, okay, so anyway, that's about that. Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, you know some just some additions. I'm going to be uh, adding some subs. Probably two subs. I think I'm going active. I might DIY them. I might get some other, some sort of, uh, you know, some SVS subs. I don't know. Um, and uh, let's hear some music. So this is uh, Brian Bromberg. He's a jazz bassist. And uh, man, I really think this stuff sounds great. Now, keep in mind, this is the, uh, the room is a bit live at the moment. And the iPhone speaker, or the iPhone mic, not super dope. Uh, so it, you know, probably won't sound amazing, but this is, sounds good here. <laughs> so here it is. Thank you. 
See you guys. Mm-hmm.